fascinating to be taking up so much space in a room and have people act as if you don't exist and they don't see you. My name is Dr. Sarah Stein. I'm a psychiatrist at Kaiser Permanente, a neighborhood family practice in Cleveland. I've been obese since I was maybe four years old, five years old, so I don't remember not being obese. And so what happened to me was what happens to a lot of obese people, which is a progressive increase in weight over the years with progressive illness. Until so finally I found myself with lots of end-stage obesity diseases, arthritis, diabetes, hypertension, sleep apnea. And I also tried every diet and every weight loss plan, every boot camp, every program that exists on the earth. I've tried them and I failed. And so what I did was I began to approach obesity as a brain disease and to treat it on a timetable that I would treat anybody who had a brain injury, which is two to five years, which is a very different timetable than somebody saying you're going to, you know, lose 120 pounds in six months with this program. Sometimes people say to me, I don't look so big. I've lost 90 pounds. I weighed 270, about. I never weighed myself at my highest, so I'm estimating about 270. I'm just below 180 now. My goal's, well, my goal is 110, but it's really what my body tells me to be. When I first started walking the dogs to go two houses was a miracle and very painful. Now we take little jogs, we walk a couple miles, we can do it every day, we all have fun. Even the dogs lost a little weight. I think the most important thing I learned is that obesity is a syndrome of being overfed and undernourished. And what I found was that I had incredibly serious vitamin and mineral deficiencies as a result of what and how I'd been eating and a result of a lot of processed foods. So once I corrected my vitamin D level, once I corrected my vitamin A level, once I started to work on inflammation and work on insulin resistance, a lot of the disorders that I had started to go away as I lost weight. My arthritis, now this is fascinating. I used to have terrible, creaky, crepitus, and pain in my joints, particularly knees, and I knew I was headed for knee replacements at some point. I started out, as I said, bicycling in the bathtub. I moved towards some gentle healing Tai Chi that you could do sitting in a chair or lying in bed. And, you know, it's now two years later, fast forward, I can walk the dogs a couple miles. I do starting to do yoga. And you know what? My knees aren't creaking anymore. The other thing that would happen is the obese discrimination. And, you know, honestly, if I try to draw out stories from being a child and being made fun of for being fat, there's so many, and I've buried them so successfully that I don't know that I could pull a whole lot out. If you switch the word fat to black or Jewish or, or gay or female or any of a, you know, a dozen different ways of being, it would be illegal, the stuff they're saying. So you know, we're kind of the last bastion of discrimination that nobody said, hey, wait a minute, it's wrong. It's just wrong to make fun of people for how they look. So these are my babies. It's one of the things that happens with obesity is infertility, and that was the story of my life. And uh, that was probably the biggest pain, hurt, you know, emotional pain that I experienced as a result of obesity. All the you know, people telling you, calling you names, or or discriminating, it's nothing compared to the pain of not being able to have children. So I had a lot of years of treatment and it didn't work out. What's her name? This is Emma. This is Emma and she's almost four. I know, that's what... She's the same kind of dog as Peter Pan had. I think the message I would like to give to people 
is a message of hope that no matter how many times you've tried to lose weight or failed to lose weight, no matter how many times you've gained it all back, no matter how incredibly sick your body is, it can change a little bit at a time. And all these little changes add up and one day you turn around and it's 90 pounds ago and you say, wow, when did that happen? Yeah.